Magura V5 naval drones are key asset in Ukraine's Black Sea triumph. Ukraine is significantly ahead of Russia in the development of unmanned marine systems. This was stated on air by Andriy Yusov, a representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. According to him, the Russians collect and study the wreckage of Ukrainian drones after each marine operation trying to recreate them. We must state that neither industrial espionage nor such activity has allowed the aggressor to come close to developing unmanned marine systems. Ukraine is significantly ahead of Russia in this matter, the main intelligence directorate representative emphasized. Yusov noted that marine unmanned systems destroy enemy ships together with their crew with BC. At the same time, operators work on this remotely. This is our weapon of the future. And Magura is a successful application of this weapon of the future. I think that the development will be stunning in many areas. This is not only an attack drone, but it also carries out reconnaissance evacuation missions. This is a platform that has great prospects, a great future, he added. According to him, the world is interested in this weapon, but today it must work to liberate the Ukrainian land, sea and sky. As reported, Magura V-5 is a Ukrainian unmanned surface drone used for reconnaissance and destruction of Russian targets. Earlier, the Political Science and Security Studies Journal conducted a study and determined that it was this drone that destroyed the largest number of Russian ships during the Great War. According to their data, 22 ships of the occupiers were attacked by sea drones, eight of which were destroyed. Mikola and Mamai hit two ships, Sea Baby 4 and Magura V5 14. The defenders usually conduct attacks after dark when visibility is much worse than during the day. For the Russians, this is a significant problem that they cannot solve. Consequently, the Black Sea Fleet recently commissioned the Russian company Laboratory PPSH to produce, among other things, thermal imaging systems for machine guns. These are intended to enable the Russian army to conduct more offensive surveillance of drones at night and generally have any possibility of defense. The Magura V-5 drones, which wreak havoc among Russian ships, are popular constructs with a length of about 5.5 meters and a width of 1.5 meters. Although they are relatively large in size, due to the lack of appropriate tools in the Russian Federation's arsenal, they are still difficult for the aggressor's army to detect. Thanks to their size, the Magura V5 has a large payload capacity rated at 320 kilograms. Additionally, the mobility of these drones is also significant. France planned to send 2,000 troops to Ukraine, Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service. Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service has declassified a report by an operative who stated in March that France was preparing to send a contingent of about 2,000 soldiers to fight in Ukraine. The briefing was published in the latest issue of the service's Scout magazine. In it, an operative using the pseudonym Felix claimed that the French army was concerned about the increased number of Frenchmen killed in the Ukrainian theater of military operation, particularly after Russian forces destroyed a temporary deployment center for foreigners near Kharkiv in January. The strike alone killed dozens of French citizens, Paris reportedly estimated, noting that since then, similar attacks have become the norm in the Ukraine conflict. The French Defense Ministry has privately acknowledged that it has not seen such losses since the war in Algeria in the second half of the 20th century, according to Felix's cipher telegram. The Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service operative reported that the exact number of casualties and the idea that there are any French servicemen in Ukraine at all is being deliberately covered up by French authorities. They allegedly fear that the number of casualties has passed the psychologically significant threshold and that their publication could spark mass public protests and discontent among acting officers. 
Despite these issues, Felix said the French authorities were nevertheless preparing a contingent to send to Ukraine, claiming that this group was initially planned to include some 2,000 troops. However, the French military is supposedly concerned that it would be impossible to covertly send such a large force into Ukraine as it would become a priority target for Russian forces. Previously, French President Emmanuel Macron repeatedly hinted that his country could send soldiers to fight on the side of Kiev, sparking condemnation from Russia, as well as pushback from most of Paris's allies within NATO. The French leader later also confirmed that he was trying to form a coalition willing to deploy specialists to train the Ukrainian military on the ground and claimed that several nations had already agreed to join the effort. Last month, senior Ukrainian officials reported that the first group of French instructors was already on its way to the country.